It's time for the Giz Wiz with Matt's Maddest Rider, Dick D. Bartolo. This is episode 1612, recorded Thursday, March 2nd, 2017. Sell by date expired. On this episode of the Giz Wiz, we have some Disney puppets. I love puppets. Drones, my new crappy corner theme, and trains you control with your smartphone. All next on the Giz Wiz! It's the Salem Show with Dickie D and OMG Chat on your PC. It's time for the Giz Wiz because gadgets are his business. They've got a gizmo sickness, geek disease, under pathology, frozen rows of USBs, growing, growing LEDs. Get ready for the Giz Wiz now. Now it is time for the Giz Wiz, so don't turn your video player off. That'd be bad. Uh, and here he is, the uh, master of gadgets, Dick D. Bartolo. You know that I'm all discombobulated when I can't even think of a good title for you, Dick. Oh, yeah, uh, no, no problem at all. No problem at all. And also, uh, Take a good look at me now because I may disappear from the screen at any moment. <laughs> uh, I bought this beautiful new chair at Staples uh, on Tuesday. It was half price, a $200 chair. Well, more than it was a $200 chair for $79. And I love it. It's the L1100. And um, it gets bored with holding me up. And every about every five minutes, it just slowly lowers me down from my perch. Uh, <laughs> the, uh, so. It sounds like you, you have a, uh, well, hmm, I don't know how to phrase this. Anyway, you, the, the piston in the chair is not, is, it will not it, work. It, it, it does not hold its own weight nor mine. That was the reason <laughs> for the, uh, the discount <laughs> pack and W thing. But Chad had a good idea to uh, go to Staples and see if they can just order me a new piston. And someone online uh, ha had a great idea is if, if you're happy with the chair at one specific height forever, uh, forever, and you have an old tube from a vacuum cleaner, an old plastic tube, you know, extension tube, right. which I do have measure the height from the base of the chair to where you want to sit. Take your chair off, slide that plastic tube over the cylinder and then put the seat back on, and then the chair will always be at that height because it can't slip down because the the tube is uh, in the way. The tube is in the way, nice. and the tube is is strong enough because it's wrapped around the steel shaft that the cylinder uh, powers. So I may I may do that, but I'm going to do your thing for uh, first. Uh, yeah, see if you can order a part instead yeah. of the whole. Because going through the process to get a warranty replacement can sometimes be. A pain, a big pain. A pain. You know, uh, 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 when I went to return the TV, it says, it, you know, it has to come back in the original box. I, yeah. I said I live in a little apartment. I threw the box out about right. an hour. For, yeah. The box takes up more room than my, my bed. Yes. So I can't keep that thing around. Got to get yeah, rid of it. I, I threw the box out and three people were living in it. I nice. mean, these <laughs> things are. New are York it. for you. There you go. New York. That's, I, re I rented the box. I'm renting <laughs> exactly. the box. It's, it's a nice it's income generator right it's a, now. Yeah, 500 Can't get rid of money. that. Oh, man. Well, we have and a lot you, packed into the show. I'm doing great. Uh, yeah. It's been a, a fantastic time. I just got back. I drove back um from our new crappy a, a store that was perfectly crafted for our crappy oh, you're corner gonna make theme. me jealous again yes i did i did so uh and hey and luckily they have a great online presence so people can go oh, okay. uh online and uh use the same store that i that i did uh, for this crappy corner more on that later um but we and we have i mean today's show is great we got more from the toy fair absolutely love it and um, uh, of course, we're going to reveal the what the heck is it? Uh, that I'm excited. I'm so excited about figuring out what the heck it was and seeing what the next one is going to be. So, oh, perfect, perfect, uh, perfect. Let's jump into it. Uh, let's jump in. So, uh, Toy Fair 2017, where you see uh, gadgets that are going to be out for Christmas. However, uh, the first uh, stuff I'm going to show you is going to be out. The Disney part, which is brand new for this company, is actually available March 1st. So it's March 2nd as we're recording this. So some of them are in the marketplace now. Let's go to Toy Fair 2017. 
Dick DiBartolo, Maz Madness writer, and the Gizwiz One Take Fit here at Gizwiz.tv. Folk modest puppets. You know, I was going to stop there, but it's rough when you try to think of something new to say about them. You know, it, it, hi. Oh, you are gr Are you new? Yes, this is a capybara. Oh, okay, God, and, and we have a, oh, a dog. I'm new, too. Wow. <laughs> a, a, a new dog? I'm the King Charles Spaniel. King Charles Spaniel and? <laughs> I keep the holding the mic to the puppet's mouth. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> this some is always the, my favorite thing. But wait a minute. We need a spokesperson a because there's something brand new. <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> give, me, give, give me an idea of the price points. Any idea of what this? Oh, do, you, do you know what you cost? I'm, I'm priceless. Priceless. <laughs> Good answer. Okay. What we're going to do is we're going to ask Elaine to show us the new Disney retro, is it called? Classic. Classic. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. There's an egg on the floor. Oh, uh -oh. oh no. I laid it. I hope it, it lays oh, my golden goodness. eggs. <laughs> oh, let me see. Elaine is showing us. <gasps> oh, wow. Oh, Mickey. The original are there, Mickey? Uh, yes, I heard the original four of them. Okay. Oh, my gosh. Oh. Mickey, Minnie. Mickey and Minnie. Oh. Okay. And who else do we have? These are just so Do I see great. Pluto? Oh. oh, my gosh, Pluto. His best friend, Mickey's best friend, and oh. <laughs> oh, my gosh, is it ear? So Pluto, did, yes. have you ever yes. heard of the Gizwiz? Oh, yeah, okay. Uh, ever hear of World News Now? <laughs> <laughs> and the final guy has got to be oh, darn Donald. Donald oh, they are beautiful. Wow. Now, when are these coming along? I'll ask the real person. <laughs> They're actually available by the end of the month. Okay, and, and are they all priced the same? And they're priced 66 to 86 retail. They're heirloom quality intended to last generations. They are so really collectively beautiful. Donald, you are really great. Can I borrow your bow tie for a... Uh, oh, that's okay. I, I won't take it. Dick DiBartolo, Man's Madness writer, and the Gizwiz. One take fit here at gizwiz.tv. This is my buddy. We're doing selfies. <laughs> Foglanus makes the best puppets. We've covered they, them a few times. They, oh. Yes, I, I go there every year, and they're very reasonable. These are their new, I, I think it might be the first time they're doing full body puppets. They're almost two feet tall. And, you know, when you work with companies, this is their first licensed puppets. And when you work with companies, there is a, you have to please a lot of yeah. people. Oh, yes. Now, I see they're already on Amazon. Uh, Mickey and Minnie are on Amazon already. Um, e even when one day I found this thing on John Ficarra's desk, the, the uh, editor of Mad, and I said, w what is that? What's a style book? And he said, oh, when, when Warner Brothers licenses Alfred E. Newman for dolls or anything, he, they have to meet every, you know, Alfred's eyes are not in, in yeah, alignment. Symmetrical. Yeah, they're yes, like. Yes, exactly. One's off. Yeah, exactly. Yes, exactly. Uh, and I can imagine Disney, when you're recreating their original characters. Oh, my gosh. My, <laughs> my older was? sister uh, used to make some uh, Star Wars, or Star Trek, sorry, Star Trek uh, fan art. And you had to get likenesses approved by the uh the actor who played them oh so, my gosh like if so you know and and she said that traditionally there's been a few actors that are just really really a stickler and they're super hard to work with and so they don't get as much art made for them because nobody wants to do the art for them um, and she got around it by doing like silhouettes. So if you do a silhouette oh. of a character, they don't have to approve it. That's just a silhouette. And so, you know, she was, because she was, anyway, yes, I can imagine that the approval process for these are just yeah. insane. So, I mean, uh, and the list price, uh, let's see, on Amazon, 63 bucks. So seems very it. reasonable to me. They're, yes. they're, they're, 
they're the quality of those guys are amazing uh so the folk modest puppets and and the little guys at that you get pu- folk modest puppets the finger puppets six and seven bucks so worth it so aren't they worth neat? it they, aren't they neat if you have yeah. children uh puppet play is is perfect because it really removes the child from what's going on and so yes. you can teach a puppet good manners where it, you know it, it doesn't hurt the child's feelings uh, or, or you could teach, you know, uh, or the puppet could, uh, you know, act out something where the child is removed from the situation. Um, I just you know, absolutely I think adore t- puppets. Yeah, your family still does that with you, right? Because I know <laughs> exactly. when a Thanksgiving, I said, where are you going? You said, oh, I have to go back to puppet school. Right. And I We're said, bring- Listen, I'm bringing five marionettes with me uh, just <laughs> to get through Thanksgiving. <laughs> exactly. No, uh, I mean, I just think, uh, you know, I, I worked at a summer camp called the Magic Camp and um, uh, Magic Juggling and Puppets was our three mainstays. And so I can, you know, I just wish puppetry would, would uh, kind of make a resurgence. It's kind of seen, I think, uh, nowadays as an older art form. And I don't think it should be. I think that this should be in every school and every classroom and uh, really... Uh, Folk Monus makes just some amazing, amazing puppets to work with. So, yeah, very they good. They do. They do. Uh, yeah, I were. I did a thing for Hanna Barbera. Uh, Yogi Bear mm-hmm. was on uh, Hanna Barbera. I, I may have told you Hanna Barbera. Bill Hanna was on to tell the truth. And um, you know that game. There are two fake people and one real people. And right. The panel. Qu- right. And Bill Hanna said, you know, if we bring a Yogi Bear costume up. Could you could you have someone on the staff dress as Yogi Bear and come pick me out? And they said, yeah, Dick will do anything. Do that. Yeah. Get in the suit, I, Dick. Yes. And I did that. And, and Bill Hanna said, you know, the, you're very good now. He said, do you want to come opening uh, one of our new Hanna-Barbera parks in Atlanta? Oh, my gosh. I said, yeah. And and when you're in that suit, I I walked up in front of a band and took the baton out of the guy's right. hand. It was thousands of people there and i led the band and because you're anonymous it's wonderful yeah exactly you can you can totally be something else other than you yes yes it's just absolutely amazing uh folk manis uh f-o-l-k-m-a-n-i-s dot com to find out more and to see their whole collection Exactly, uh, and good. you can find them on Amazon, uh, often at a discount. Uh, okay, I'm a big train. You, you never were a tr- had trains when you were a kid, right? No, I, I mean, uh, maybe we had one set, but it was kind of a quick thing that you yeah, know, I didn't really Christmas, get super into it. Yeah, cr- Christmas only. Right. All right, so this may, may not be of interest to you, but I don't care. Uh, so let's look at what Lionel is introducing for 2017. Perfect. Hey, Dicky Bartolo, Man's Man is Friday, and the Gizwiz. And the Echo, I couldn't get out. TV. You were just looking at mega tracks at Lionel. Well, we love Lionel. We love trains. We love Bluetooth. So this year, Lionel is combining Bluetooth with trains. And Michael's going to tell us exactly how that works. Hey guys, thanks for stopping by today. We're very excited. So Lionel is a 117 year young brand. We are. And Michael's been there most of that time. <laughs> exactly. I love it. Model trains are a true passion. It really brings a smile to everybody's face. Oh, come on, Michael. Get to the get, get to the chase, Michael. We're professionals here. We are Bluetooth. <laughs> so for 2017, our latest and greatest innovation is so. Today's kids live in this world. Everybody's very familiar with cell phones that are attached to everybody's hips. So what we did was we combined the physical aspect of our product with the digital world that people are used to today. So what we did was we took all of the controls. It's a free app called Lionel Lion Chief. It's available on Apple iTunes. You can go No out. Android yet? It's in the works. We do have an Android available pretty okay. soon. Okay. Yep, so we started with Apple iOS. You can see the app here on my phone. It opens up. It's very user friendly. You have the ability to make the train go faster or slower. So you can kind of see a traditional speed bar as it goes through. I can blow the whistle, activate the bell, Oh, wow. Wait, wait, there's more. It had the ability to go through and really customize and change a lot of things. Wow. So I can change the pitch of the bell. Grab my hand here. So I, I didn't have two mics to put one on the bell and one on him. That is one oh, sick I, locomotive. That is, that is. It's almost kind of crazy there. So then you can also change the pitch of the bell. 
pick what you like right there. That's, that's really neat. So now it's sold as a set? It is. So all of our new 2017 sets are going to be Bluetooth control. So with Polar Express in particular, you get all the track, you get the engine, the tender, all the cars, plus you still get the remote control that comes with the set, and then you have the ability to download a free app. To be able to That's got to be expensive because I know the Polar Express line is very well detailed. So what's that going to retail for? So the Polar Express is $419.99. So okay. for the full set and everything you need to set it up on your tree. Okay, is, is this the amount of track you get with it, do you know? This is, yep, correct. Okay, perfect. Uh, I, I love it that they, they add a couple of straight tracks, so it's just not uh, an oval, uh, uh, a circle. It's an oval instead. And is the Polar Express the only Bluetooth train coming? No, there are going to be 10 ready-to-run playsets that we have coming out this year that are Bluetooth compatible. So they're all going to be good to go. Plus, we have several higher-end engines as well as a couple of our um, S-Gage products and Lionel launched last year Polar HO. So we can actually use our app across three different gauges. And is this O or O27? This is O gauge train. It is O, okay. There's no more O27, right? Correct. Yep. Okay. Uh, this is great. Dick D. Bartolo, Man's Man, it's right here. And the Gizwiz One Take Theater here at gizwiz.tv. Woohoo! That's fantastic. I think that that has some really, really, really nice uh, you know, modernization to a train set. That's fantastic. Customizable. Absolutely. That you can change, you know, the sounds and, and also there's a place that I buy trains from called train world and they already list the Bluetooth thing and it says not available, but they already are offering it for $90 less. So it's, so it's three twenty nine. dollars well, th basically $330, and it's everything. It's a track and the locomotive and three cars and some little characters and rail sounds um, and a remote control with, that comes with it, but then it's better when you use your phone because you can do more uh, things uh, with it. You know, Chad, can, can you click on a link in the chat room? Is that yeah, something you can do? Yeah, definitely. Uh, some, someone said his, his dick is Yogi Bear. Oh, my on, gosh. This might be uh, you. Is that it, you? Uh, there I am. Oh there, my gosh! <laughs> there I am. Wow. Yeah. So it's a great those costumes. I guess you've done that kind of thing. Those costumes are hot. Oh yes. Oh yes. yes. And modern right. costumes have batteries and fans. Oh, they uh, do. Oh yeah, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, I was actually just watching a, a video of you know Adam Savage from the MythBusters. He saw some props from an upcoming movie. And all the props had fans built into them oh. that would buzz and whir to get, you know, oxygen flowing through there. Yeah, I mean, that is a, that's a nice costume. Whoever made that did a good job, too. Yeah, um, well, you know, I, I, probably the same. I, I'm sure they make them for all the parks. You right. Know, I, I don't even know if Hanna-Barbera has amusement parks anymore. But uh, it was certainly uh, a commercial quality thing. Wow. Wow, Dickie D. That is amazing. <laughs> it's, it's fun, isn't it? Yeah. That is very fun. That is the things I'm fun. forced to do as part of my job. I know. Entertainment. Oh, it's <laughs> so horrible. It's so cool. So cool. How did you uh, see? Did you see through the nose? Did you see through the you mouth? See, yeah, yes, you do. You see, um, I can't remember if you see, your head is lower than the top of him. Right. Yeah, I, I, you know what? I think I was looking through his mouth. Right. Either through his mouth or maybe even through his tongue? I don't yeah, know. No, no I, I, think the, I think his mouth was all mesh. That is so and, cool. And, and it was black mesh, so since it's dark inside the head, right. you, it, it looked like it was just a, a black line. But I, I was seeing through the mouth. That is so cool. And heavy, and heavy. It takes like two people to help. Pull right. it up and zip it up and get you in it. Wow. That is amazing. That is really an amazing moment. Wow. Yeah. Thank you for finding that. Uh, yeah. Perfect. Yeah. That was Flipper. Flipper in the chat room. Flipper. Thank you. That is very um, cool. Anyway, so uh, Lionel Bluetooth trains coming um, between now and the fall, and it'll be a, an entire line of uh, Bluetooth trains. Very neat. Um, my final thing, drones. Oh, drones. I always I told the PR people no drones, but I changed my mind, as you'll see. Okay. 
Vicky Bartolo, Mads, Mads Dreider, and the Gizwiz One Take Theater here at gizwiz.tv. We're at Toy Fair 2017. Alex here is showing me around, and Alex said, Dick, do you want to see drones? And I said, Alex, drones, I'm so tired of drones. But Alex, this is the kind of thing that I'm looking for. This is unique. Oh, Whoa. Dick, those are drones. These are drones? Well, let's ask Jessica. These so are drones. They are. This is a drone force, brand new, launching in fall 2017. And it's a team of creature-inspired drones, all with a different feature. And really good for the younger kids, you know. They're easy to fly. There's no tech here. These are pure toy. Wow. So this guy is a drone. He's a drone, and he, this is Angler Attack. And he has LED lights all throughout his skeleton. So he'll light up. He's daytime, nighttime. You can creep around the corner, scare your younger sister, scare mom. <laughs> <laughs> what is the name of this, that guy? That, that, that guy? That weird-looking one. Is Angler Attack. That one is Angler Attack. And then another cool one that I think you'd like, Dick, is Morphzilla. So this is based off the gorilla. And he'll actually morph and drive on the ground and then morph back and take off and fly into the skies. Morphzilla. Next year we should have Godzilla versus Morth, Morthzilla, right? Morthzilla. Morthzilla. Okay, Morth. give me an idea of the price point of these. Yeah, absolutely. So we got Stinger at the bottom there. He's our basic model. He starts at $24.99, and then you can work your way all the way up to the wonderful Angler Attack, and that's $79.99. God, they're so reasonable. Uh, and like other drones, charge them from the uh, remote control, and they'll fly about for how long? Yep, so about 10 to 15 minutes. 10 to 15 take. minutes. Yeah. Uh, and these are fall items? This is fall 2017. You'll see these on shelves. This is great. Dick Bartolo, Mads Mattis writer, and the Gizwiz One takes it here at Drone Force. Drone Force by Alpha Group. Uh, so at the website then? Yep, um, you can go to aldetoys.na. Okay. There you go. Dick Bartolo, Mads Mattis writer, and the Gizwiz One takes it here at gizwiz.tv. Alex finds some great stuff. I hate to admit it. <laughs> uh, actually, I'm glad to admit it. Bye. That is really cool. And there's an angler fish built into a drone. Yes, they are so neat. Now, a behind-the-scenes thing is the uh, angler fish had been a working prototype, but the people who filmed before me broke it. <laughs> <laughs> Dang it! So, oh my God! It was. I know. That so, was that uh, other gadget show. The, our yes, our, our arch nemesis <laughs> causing us problems. Um, that's you know, I'm um, always. I once did that up at Mattel with a Barbie doll, and, and the problem with Toy Fair is, a lot of them are hand-built prototypes. So, which means one of them could be thousands of dollars. A, right. a model builder built this, and it was a an animated Barbie thing. And it was on the stand, and, and I said, uh, can I pick it up? And, and I, I, she said, yes. But she didn't mean the one that I was looking at, and I picked <laughs> it up, and the legs <laughs> fell off. <laughs> oh, and, no. Oh, my God, there were people, uh, oh, quick, go get Vito. Go get the tools. Go yes, exactly. <laughs> this is a, the catastrophe. Yes. Oh, my oh, gosh. Yes. So I, I try not to uh, play with... Uh, <laughs> The toys anymore. Pro prototypes. Yes, exactly. exactly. One of a kind prototypes. <laughs> but it, 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 it's a very unique idea. Again, um, it, the prices seem very reasonable. That little flying spider, right. 30 bucks. Right. I agree. I agree. And, and I, I think drones are also a very fun tool because it teaches kids about avionics, you know, it teaches, you know, and there's just a whole bunch uh, there. RC has always been fun uh, for children, and uh, drones are just a super easy way to get into flight, which I didn't even, like, the best thing that I could ever fly as a kid was like an air hog or one of those styrofoam airplanes that you would build yes. yourself and throw. Uh, drones are just so approachable and fun, and the prices have just been so reasonable. Uh Unbelievable. Unbelievable. So reasonable. So. Well, I'm terrible at flying drones. Dennis <laughs> is worse. And last year, the woman said to Dennis, here, why don't you fly it? And Dennis said, I I'm terrible about it. I and she said, there is no way you can mess this up. Just oh, take it. this. And he goes, I'll find a just, way. Just push this forward. Well, Chad, the thing took off. And caught her hair. Oh no! Oh no! And all four propellers. <laughs> oh no! So she was wearing the drone, 
And it must have taken 20 minutes to get all the hair at a. Uh, so don't she, ask Dennis. Yeah, now she, fought. I think she learned a lesson <laughs> that yeah, day. Yeah, she as learned well, a lesson. When she said, there's nothing you can do wrong. There's absolutely <laughs> no way anyone will get their head caught in this drum. Right. She still says it, but then she ducks down under the counter. Right, as, exactly. As there's there's the no way oh, she takes her hair and puts it in a bun. <laughs> right. Um, wow, 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 wow. So those are some fantastic toys from Toy Fair. That's super exactly. exciting. And I'll have to finish up next week of uh, the, the last couple. Perfect. Um, now we... Now, ladies and gentlemen, it is officially March, which means there is a brand new no, theme... For Chad, Chad. Chad's Crappy Corn. Get it. So when I pull this out, uh, you're going to know a little bit about what the theme is. So just uh, keep in mind that uh, this is a little bit of a hint. This uh, oh, oh, it, uh, food? Pringles can. Food? Pringles can. Okay, so first... Let me oh, tell you. Oh, tricks. It's tricks. It's There's tricks. a snake in there. there. Right, exactly. There's a snake in this Pringles can. <laughs> um, so this month I'm uh, really excited about uh, because it's actually something that I've been wanting to uh, do for a while. It was on last week's uh, poll, and this week it won. So the, the options were between security gadgets, party gadgets, and magnetic gadgets, and the winner Ooh. is dun, 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 security gadgets with 45% oh. of the vote. Only two, oh, yeah. three votes away uh, from magnetic gadgets. So this is, in fact, a security gadget. Let me go ahead and take the, oh. the price off. So. Where did I go to look for my security gadgets? Well, here in Dallas, because it's a big old uh, city, well, there is actually a spy center, and they have a great website. So uh, you can see all of these different things that they sell, um, and they have a big warehouse in the back that I, I, I saw while I was there um, at uh, spycenter.com. It's a pretty easy URL. So. Here is my security gadget for today. What do you th what What do you think it is? I'll tell you. Oh well, uh, it's got to be a safe, right? There's there's chips in here. Yeah, it's a safe. Yeah, you got it. Uh, but I mean, what an unassuming safe. So the bottom no! of this screws off just like so, and then you have a a little place to hide valuables, money, keys, all sorts of stuff. You got. This is, these are the keys to the Lambo. You just throw those in there. Then you take the, uh, the top and then screw it right back on. Now this is a, a, a handmade um, device, but you can get it at uh, spycenter.com. And also, I mean, this is just, you've probably seen something like this on Amazon. They sell books that have hidden compartments. They sell... Um, See, the problem is if you're... Uh, apartment is burglarized by someone who likes snacks. Exactly. All right, I got the TV. I got this his isn't... computer. I got his five cameras. <laughs> hey, grab those Pringles. Get those pizza Pringles. <laughs> those are my favorite flavor. <laughs> um, yeah, absolutely. No, I mean, once uh, something is inside, this is definitely a little bit heavier than normal. But who's going to be going through your pantry trying to find the keys to the Lambo? Uh, I don't think a lot of people are. Spike no. actually just, uh, oh, Spike. <laughs> I thought Spike had found a, uh, a good location uh, with some hidden safe uh, uh, stuff, but it's just uh, snacks that you could actually uh, buy yourself. Um, oh, okay. So, yeah, so I think that this, this is just such a fantastic, um, uh, I mean, it's not, it doesn't have any reinforcement. It's not metal. Your security is in its obscurity. Um, oh, I like that. Yeah. Wow. Exactly. But it does also sound like it has Pringles inside. When you kind of shake them around there. Um, but yeah, so. Uh, well, what, 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 what is in there making that noise? I don't know because I didn't really oh, want to oh, break you mean the it seal. makes that noise on its own? It makes that noise on its own. I didn't really want to pull the seal up. Oh, it's yeah, still, don't. That's okay. Still sealed. Okay. I mean, it might right. be actual Pringles in there. I mean, as right. far as I know. 
Um, so yeah, what they, I mean, I assume they did is they cut off the bottom, you know, put whatever yep. was going to jingle and jangle in there, and then shove this oh, inside. Oh, that, that's very clever. And what does that cost? But this cost $20. So this is a $20 um, okay. security device, basically. And uh, they, they actually had a f uh, few on sale for $12 that were going out. Uh, but $20 is the normal price that you would pay uh, to get something uh, something like that. So I thought this was uh, really fun. Uh, yeah, and I think it's very clever. Inexpensive right. uh, device uh, that you can actually feel pretty safe putting things in. I know that you know if you, some people like cash, some people keep cash around, throw it at the bottom of your Pringles can. And uh, it's pretty safe, I gotta say. Also, zero grams of trans fat. Yeah. So did you they, can't go did wrong. They, they didn't put a use by date on it, did they? Let me see. Oh yes, best if used by. Whoa. Yeah. <laughs> 2013. Uh, oh was my god! The your, year. Your, clean, your cleaning lady's gonna come oh in. Oh my and gosh, say, she's gonna say. I did you, I'm I did sorry. you a favor. You know those old <laughs> Pringles you had. Oh my God! I, I threw didn't those even open away. Them. I just threw them out. Yeah, this is. <laughs> <laughs> there is a Best Buy date on these still. Uh, I would get a magic marker and make it 2018. <laughs> right, I may I may need to make that uh, 20 uh, <laughs> 2028 is what I should do if yeah. I really want it to stick around. Um, <laughs> Uh, Flipper, Flipper's back at it with the um, uh, with the places to uh, buy some of these devices. You can buy one on Amazon for thirteen dollars. Look at that! Oh, oh, Pringle wow. stash can, uh, diversion safe. This looks exactly like what I have. It does. Uh, because oh, you know what? That doesn't have a. Oh, that's the inside of the can. Yeah. I was gonna say, that, can we see the use by date? Maybe. But that's if the, we could that's zoom in on that right there. Yeah. But yeah, I can't zoom in. Yeah. Uh, that's fantastic. I mean, th these these just oh really... my gosh! And 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 at the store there were all of these different versions. You'd see the Arizona T uh, safe. There were um, one of my favorites was there was a uh, bleach canister. Um, so yeah, these are these are a very popular device that lots and lots of people have used. And there's just and the good news is that there's so many different types that yeah. any you know would be burglar would have to steal all of your groceries, including the salt, uh, <laughs> and then try to test every single one, which just isn't practical. I mean, if you're a burglar, you're going to go for the easiest uh, yeah. possible way and, and just um, you know go 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 for the the closets, look for the safes, and take them. So. Uh, thank you so much, Flipper, for finding that on, on yeah. uh, Amazon. And you realize Prime. after after this show airs and you get burgled and the cops come, you're going to say, all they took, officer, was a can of Pringles. A can of Pringles. But that, that was were a, outdated. A very, very uh, expensive can of Pringles, let me tell right. you. That had, uh, yeah, everything. So, yeah, so I, anyway, this is uh, this little security safe. First uh, gadget of Security Month. You can find them on Amazon or, of course, at spycenter.com. And uh, I'm looking forward to Security Month. There's going to be some really fun stuff um, coming up. I'm, I'm re I already have a, another gadget for next week um, that'll be uh, even more way to secure your house. So that's great. Perfect. With that, let's jump into Dick's Gadget Warehouse. They're geeky and they're goofy, together they are loopy. When gadgets pass away, he takes them out to play. In Dick's Gadget Warehouse. Bong horn. Oh, you know what? I just realized um, I'm going to do something a little bit out of order here. Sounds good. Let's, let's um, show the what the heck is it gadget. <gasps> I'm excited. Because th this letter refers to that. Okay. So... Uh, go to what the heck is it? Now you did not know what it was. I right? didn't. I didn't. So it's just a quick reminder. What the heck is it? Is a game where Dick puts up a gadget on his website gizwiz.biz, and we have to figure out what the heck it is because it's not obvious. It's the whole gadget, but it doesn't have any of the packaging. So, uh, and here I'm scrolling down trying to find. Uh, here it is. Okay. 
So this was the gadget. And, and of course, it was covered over, so you couldn't right. read. So you, you, it turned out, Chad, more people knew about this, what? I think, than any gadget I ever. Yes, we, we must have tons of do-it-yourselfers in our audience. I have never seen this. This is completely new to me. <laughs> so basically, if you want to magnetize a screwdriver, you put it in one slot, and it tells you which one to do it. And then if you have a screwdriver that's picking up too many things and you want to demagnetize it, you put it in the other slot and it demagnetizes it. One of the one of the uh, entries I got said, Dick, you made a big mistake. The magnetizer demagnetizer is today's deal of the day what? on Amazon. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> so that, of course, brought a raft of... Uh, People, entering, people who knew, of course. Who knew, who knew. Um, so, all right, so uh, keep that in mind. Later on, we'll go back and we'll talk about some of the answers. But now... The uh, funny the, answers, the, the good answers. The, the good answers. Uh, so, Joel Bean, uh, B-E-E-N-E, -E, writes in and says, Hi, Dick and Chad. Dick's mystery gadget of the month inspired me to make this video. So, let's look at Joel's video. Hi, Dick and Chad. This is a watch repairman's demagnetizer. It was used by watch repairmen wow, to demagnetize old. watch parts. This particular tool was made by the Mosley Manufacturing Company of Chicago. Mosley made a number of tools for watch repairmen and watchmakers. Mosley was taken over by another company in the late 1930s. Uh, let me give you some family history relevant to this specific tool. In 1947, my father went to work with his brother and their father in a family-owned jewelry store in East Bakersfield, California. The store was located about a block north of the Southern Pacific Railroad. The store had a contract with the Southern Pacific Railroad to provide watch repair services and monthly watch calibration for railroad employees. Wow. By the mid-1950s, my father had grown tired of working six days a week in a retail jewelry store, and so he quit the jewelry business and brought his watch repair tools home. Wow. The demagnetizer is a solenoid. It consists of a copper wire wrapped around a core. There's a fabric liner inside. It's mounted on a piece of wood. When electric current is applied to the coil by pressing this button, magnetic field is created inside. To demagnetize something such as the screwdriver, Place it inside the core, press the button and withdraw, and it is no longer magnetized. <gasps> Isn't that neat? To magnetize that something, so which is much cool. more fun, place the object inside, press the button, release, and you have created a <laughs> magnet. <laughs> it's great, isn't it? That is amazing. What a great video. When I was a youngster, my friends and I had a lot of fun with this device, magnetizing all sorts of things. It was my favorite gadget. I brought it to grade school in the 1960s for show and tell. And now here I am in my 60s sharing it with you <laughs> on the Gizwiz show and tell. Thanks, guys. Joel, that was great. what a great video. That is amazing. Thank you so much for sharing that amazing gadget. Yeah, so Joel, and the funny thing is Joel said, Dick, I don't know if this is going to be good enough to show on your show. And I wrote back, I said, this 10 out of 10. Great. Oh, my great. gosh. And, and also the fact that I, it came in like two weeks ago, but I thought I'll just, I didn't want, <laughs> didn't want to show it beforehand to, to sort of tip. Uh, right, exactly. Thinking, Tip the scale mm, for more people. Magnetize it, mag me. Exactly. Um, yeah. So now you can, for $5, I, the lowest one I saw on Amazon was $5 for a magnetizer, demagnetizer. So Joel Bean, that was a great video. You'll get the current issue of Mad Magazine, which is the April issue. You'll get one of those 30-plus-year-old uh, Alfred E. Newman pictures uh, for that we showed your video. Uh, I think we have one more, possibly two videos in-house. So, uh, like Joel Gray, we're looking for videos from people who haven't submitted stuff before. And and everybody, uh, the last few videos are, I don't know if this is meets your standards 
folks, our standards are pretty low. <laughs> Listen, the bar is low. <laughs> let me tell yeah. you. We, we want you in the picture, and we want to be able to hear what you say and see the gadget. And uh, it and be it, a horizontal video. Not I was vertical. just going to say, and shoot in horizontal uh, plane. Not, please, not vertical. Uh, two to three minutes, anything. I mean, like that was a fascinating gadget, the history with his father, that neat little demo that his father – his jewelry store was in charge of taking care of watches for a railroad. All, all, all that stuff is just very interesting. Uh, so make a little video, two to three minutes. When you upload it to YouTube, there's a drop-down menu. You select unlisted. That way only people that you send the link to can uh, access the video, and that'll be us. Uh, send us the link. And just um, a couple sentences about uh, the whatever the subject of your video is and send it to mail at gizwiz.tv and hopefully you'll see a video here in a couple of weeks perfect with that let's move on to the letter theme all right hi dick and chad i read science fiction like many if not most of your audience i don't know about that i you know like that science doing... fiction oh okay okay in it they have luggage that follows you around on a regular basis oh luggage that follows you around we're talking about luggage you ro you ride on i recently stumbled across a video for a robot that follows you around just like SF. Uh, this is where I first saw it. So, um, I guess we can do either one of those. Uh, Oops. <laughs> there it goes. <laughs> now it's playing. Now, um, now this, is, this is something that, uh, God, I find it spooky. Do you? I mean, it does kind of look, I mean, look how big it is. It's kind of, yeah, uh, to carry around with you. I think that's carry interesting. This yeah. thing is, Chad. What do you What do you do when you get to like a curb? You You or, take the uh, the real wheelchair access uh, ramp. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. Um, yeah, that's it's. Yeah, I mean it's okay. So first off, it's you know obviously super duper cool. First issue is when he opened up the top and grabbed his stuff. I realized this, there's no way like the 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 dream device will fit in an overhead compartment of, a, of an airplane, be able to fit through the airplane aisle, which is super duper short. Right. Um, and be able to track only you in a crowded airport, uh, where, which is hard for humans to do. I mean, you, I lose my family or friends all the time trying to weave through people at an airport. Um, very cool concept. I just don't yeah, see also, the practical I, yeah, I, nature. At I the don't moment. either. It, it's sort of like your personal carrier. I think like the carrier stuff to work, but right. uh, you know, crossing the street. How do you know your bag is <laughs> not going to catch up with you before the light changes and someone runs it right. over? Right, right. Um, very and, interesting stuff, but but. Uh, it took, has a little ways to go. And, and I, I didn't see a price and I didn't see availability. Mm -hmm. So I guess it's just This looks like a project, project, not quite yeah, a, a, pro uh, a, pro uh, yeah, uh, a product. <laughs> it's a project, David, not a product. Uh, yeah, exactly. Uh, David Eckhart sent us the sci-fi follow you around thing. That is so cool. Now, have you seen some of this stuff? You know, Boston Dynamics uh is one of the leading robot man or uh researchers who is creating um uh robots that can actually do human levels of 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 movement um have you seen these these robots no, shit. oh my gosh so th i mean they've just created a new one uh now if you haven't seen these before you're gonna be oh, oh, like 
Yes, launched, yes, go ahead. I, you I did you see may it, have seen Big Dog or Little Dog. Spooky. Oh, they scare me. So this one has two legs, but wheels on the legs. So it can use its body for momentum. It, can, it, it seems like the wheels also have a little bit of drive in them. Um, it, and of course, all of the Boston Dynamics robots, they kind of do this thing where you see them inside of laboratories at first, and then by the end of the video, they're going outside and they're on snowy banks and people are kicking them over and stuff like that. And you can see just how incredibly stable they are. Yes. You know, something like this is just uh, going to be the next, you know, step in ro robots. Uh, I believe that this has a lot of military backing. Basically, the idea is I that bet. if you can have a robot that never tires out, carry all the equipment of a human that does tire out, then you have a, a advantage. I mean, here it is carrying 100 pounds. I mean, that's wow. qu quite substantial. Here it is going down stairs. You know, there that answers your stair question wow. right there. Um, it's about human-sized. It still is not quite human-like because it's, its knees bend at a weird angle. Its arms are yeah. kind of weird. Whoa! I know, it jumps. It. Oh, my gosh. I mean, just some absolutely incredible stuff. This video is very new. Uh, it, uh, it's, uh, when was this published? February 27th, so less than oh, a week old. Oh, just slightly, yeah. Yeah, and, uh, you know, this is where I, I would assume the future of robots are going, is, is you need helpers around the house, you need people to carry things. These type of robots are the, are the ones that are going to invade, invade our lives. Um, yeah. So yeah, I always I love the Boston Dynamics YouTube channel because they always uh, wow. upload, upload their latest creations, and they uh, it seemed to be moving very fast. I remember Big Dog was just this amazing thing to see someone kick over a robot and it be able to self correct. Oh yes, yeah, yes, got got up again. It got up yeah. again, and it would it would fall on ice and self correct itself. I mean. Just some things like that was uh, was just absolutely amazing. Here's let me see if I can find that uh, original video. So, do they have any robots that are doing podcasts yet? Or like, <laughs> is our career in danger? Listen, the heavy lifting of podcasters still has not been uh, 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 robotified yet. So, oh, so okay, that's good, good. Some good, good news. Oh, oh, wow. So you know, this is Big Dog, which was whoops, uh, of course, right as it loaded. You know, here he is slipping on ice and self-correcting himself. Uh, the idea was that this would uh, be able to be taken into the battlefield and the packs that are on the side of this would be able to, to alleviate some of the weight of uh, uh, soldiers. Told. But yeah, there, I mean, there he is totally falling over, being able to self-correct. Um, you know. This is just oh, fascinating, fascinating yeah. stuff. And now here's the thing is I feel like what we just watched before, that luggage that follows you around, it needs to be able to match that. It needs to yes, be able yes. to do that before it. I'm going to think that it can follow me around inside of an airport. I, I'd rather have that big thing follow me around because I wouldn't have to worry. Yeah. <laughs> it's a Yes, don't everyone would me. move talk, out of your talk, way. Talk basically. to my best friend who's yes. standing behind me. Hello, you have you argue? met Big Dog? Right, exactly. <laughs> um, so, uh, good stuff. Thank you so much, David, for sending over that, uh, that link. Uh, yeah, hey, let's jump straight into what the heck is it. I'm, I'm excited. What, uh, let's uh, figure uh, it exactly. out. So, you know what it was? It right. is a magnetizer, demagnetizer. As I said, uh, I have a link there to a page of them on, fa on uh, Facebook, on uh, Amazon, as low as five bucks. Uh, more than 100 people knew who it was. Oh, there you go. Uh, 850. There's one for 484. Um, tons of them. Uh, if you have a use for that to magnetize and demagnetize tools, small tools that have to fit into those openings. Uh, but we, we love the, uh, the answers. Now, do you know of a graphic designer called M.C. Escher? Yes. Okay. A lot of answers about that because he did a lot of things with stairways. Right. Okay. 
<laughs> and uh, I hope I'm pronouncing his his name correctly. A dollhouse designed by M.C. Escher, says Paul Smith. 3D printed version of Relativity by M.C. Escher, Steve B. Um, a condo for tiny pets like crickets or snails, Richard French. Uh, exclusive Roach Motel. But, yeah, there you go. There's Escher. Right. So that, that, these, these are great answers. Yeah. Uh, Christopher. With the stairs going in uh, all sorts of directions. I love this. This is a mouse confessional, <laughs> complete, <laughs> complete with kneeling rail minus the doors. Um, let me just get a couple more. Pe- people are very funny. Um, finger stairs leading to the dreaded finger guillotine. Oh, my fish love this. They swim through the window and practice on the stairs. Richard Indiana from Indiana. Um, a gadget to draw stairs or windows if you're making blueprints. Nice. Very clever, isn't it? Uh, a device for molding small uh, uh, staircases if building sand castles. Uh, Doug said that. Pasta extruder for the new <laughs> fad of rectangular pasta. <laughs> Tamar Brooks. Um, and, and Penny Lear. It's just funny. It's the go upstairs and look out the window game. <laughs> <laughs> Go upstairs, uh, look out the window. Done. Look out the window. Sorting gauge for Tetris, for Tetris blocks. Um, anyway, so we did give away, I think, 25 answers, uh, 25 mads for uh, silly answers. And we picked 12 of the, like, 100 just at random who got it absolutely right. I was really dumbfounded that so many people knew who it was. Wow. Uh, knew what it was, rather. Well, now we have another gadget to uh, yes, mull our yes, brains yes, over. Yes, yes, yes. Here it is. Uh, it's pretty obvious to me that this mm-hmm. gadget mm-hmm. is a thigh heater. You, you just uh, set it in between your legs and it heats up your thighs for those cold thigh Whoa. work days. Oh, I can't uh, tell you if you got it right, right yeah, off the bat. Yeah, exactly. I know. I'm going to have to wait for a little while. But if you think you know what this gadget is, get on over to gizwiz.biz. And get a guessin'. This is the whole gadget. This isn't part of the gadget. This is everything included. Uh, that is correct. So get a, get a guessin' if, over at Gizwiz. If Gizwiz.biz. you buy one of these, this is all you get. That's it's not like a piece of the no, whole well, gadget. No, I, I think I told you someone sent me a photo of something, and I said, "This is really." Good. What is it? They said, well, it's a leg of a lathe that is in. And <laughs> what? Okay, okay, Dick. Can you guess what this gadget is? It's a Pringle safe. Yeah, exactly. Oh, no, it's not no, what it is. It's not no. how we play this game. Uh, so thanks uh, to everyone who uh, guesses over at gizwiz.biz. Hey, we want to give another big thank you to everyone who supports us on Patreon, patreon.com slash Gizwiz is our Patreon page. Patreon is a platform where you can support independent content creators like me and Dick. And yes, uh, every we episode. Fall into that category is hard to believe as it is. I know. The and independent plot, that is no lie. You think that a big company like Disney was behind us, but no, <laughs> they said absolutely not. And so no. here we are. Uh, and uh, our Gizwiz uh, Patreon is fantastic. Everybody supports the show every single episode. Thank you so, 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 so much. Have you found oh, anything? Oh, you know what? You I like? forgot to mention it. Oh, yeah? I, I overlooked it. Last month, let me see the date. Last month on February 20th, I st- uh, Gizwiz started year 12. What? Yes, what? the first show was February twentieth, two thousand six. We so we did is 11, twelve years old. Uh, uh, Eleven years of shows. We're now starting year year twelve. 12. I, wow! I would have so, never guessed. I would have. I wouldn't have put us past ten. So the past two years have only been because of the Patreons. Wow! What a legacy. That's incredible. Uh, so, guys, thank you so much for your support. If you want to support the show, patreon.com slash gizwiz is the place to do it. Or you can head on over to our website, gizwiz.tv. Click the Patreon button, and it's right there. There's also a link for PayPal. For people who don't want to support every show, we understand. We still really, really adore uh, your generosity. Thank you so much to everyone who supports the show. 
Uh, with that, hey, head on over to gizwiz.tv and subscribe. You can also watch us live. We're live most Thursdays from 4.30 to 7.30, uh, 4.30, sorry, 4.30 Pacific, 7.30 Eastern Time. And if uh, we're ever off on schedule, there's a banner at the top of the website that'll tell you when we record Like next, next week, you mean? Like next week. Uh, we will be recording uh, early in order for uh, me to go to PAX East. These darn PAXs, they're all the time. Uh, yeah, we'll be recording on Wednesday instead of on Thursday. But at, you know, at, at our normal time. Exactly. Same time, same time different day. Uh, but head on over to gizwiz.tv if you want to see that update uh, on the top of the page. Thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll see you next episode. I'll be here.